Neil Act of Ostjak and Scale and Sheikh Hanja. The existence of the six county state has been a disaster. Britain's defensive partition and the Unionist veto has created the conditions for conflict. All of the initiatives over the last two and a half decades have failed. They were partitionist and the British dictated the agenda. Republicans of this generation first contested elections during the 1981 hunger strike when Bobby Sands won for Manor and South Tyrone. Sinn Féin is represented in 17 of the North's 26 councils. We are the largest nationalist party in Belfast and Oma, and the second largest party in Derry. In these and on the other councils, our experienced, hard-working councillors play a positive role. The more you refuse to hear my voice Councillors from other parties had failed to make any real impression against unionist bullying on the councils. Sinn Féin councillors have challenged discrimination and bigotry, exposed corruption and the wasteful squandering of council money. Councillors have opposed the privatisation of council services, and the inevitable job losses which accompanies it. They have demanded effective legislation to tackle the continuing serious problem of discrimination in employment against Catholics and women. The response of the state and the Loyalist Death Squad has been a campaign of murder and censorship against Sinn Féin. Three of our councillors and ten party members have been killed since 1989. The responsibility for this tragedy rests with the British government. The days of unionist domination are numbered. Partition has failed. Inevitably, there must be a real political process which can reach a lasting peace. A new beginning is required to build the peace that all of us deserve and desire. Strengthen the nationalist voice by electing people you can depend on to stand up for your rights. The message from Sinn Féin in this election. Jerry Adams, there's a lot about rights in that video. Whose rights were being stood up for in Warrington when the IRA exploded bombs in a crowded shopping area and killed two children? Well, let me deal first of all, Seamus, if I can, with our three main planks in this election. And Sinn Féin is standing here on one plank of our working local government since the last election on the need to end unionist domination and the need to strengthen the nationalist agenda. And as part of the second two points, we have made a peace project part of our function as a political party. And what we want to do is to do away with the tragedy of incidents like at Warrington and other incidents both in this island and in Britain. There is a long interview with you in the latest edition of the magazine Hot Press, and there's a long section about Warrington. And you're quoted as follows. I have said Warrington was inexcusable. I have said Warrington was wrong. Wouldn't those comments of yours be more forceful if you said it was murder? Well, the electorate who are facing into this election and will have an opportunity to vote for Sinn Féin can judge my remarks and our party's record and the, the difficulties which our party face. I have made my comments about Warrington. I have made my comments about every single... Uh, uh, incident which has occurred. Was Warrington murder? Excuse me. Let, let me make my point. Would you point is no. Question? Excuse me, Seamus, please. Let me make my point. It is, it is immaterial whether we ourselves engage in the politics of the last atrocity. We're facing into an election, and I have made it quite clear that I want to see an end to all acts of violence in this state, on this island, or in Britain, and especially one, one, one uh, consents because children were killed at Warrington, 
because non-combatants were injured in Mornington, that incidents like that have to be ended. Well, I now, think hard, people... Excuse me, uh, no, but no, Jerry, Jerry you hold on finish. a second. No, you, you, you haven't answered my question. Yes, I have I'm answered not, your question. No, I you made, didn't. You refused <coughs> to say whether Warrington was murdered no, I have or told not. You, I have told people you. must draw their own conclusions. Uh, and I have said that, please. Now, we don't have very much time. No, here. and I want to move on, because later in that answer, in Hot Press, you talk of Republicans accepting responsibility. And you say the IRA apologized and said it regretted very much what happened at Warrington. Now, you appear to commend the IRA by name for its apology, but refuse to condemn the IRA by name for the original act. Well, let me first of all, Seamus, bring this to your attention. We are not standing in this election on a manifesto of a hot press interview. We are standing in this election in the manifesto which you have before you, in which we deal in some detail with our attitudes. Now, you have not interviewed me since the last election. You received our party manifesto in advance of this interview. Right? You, you know our party history. You know the difficulties under which we uh, labor. You know our aims in the election. Could we, if it's possible, inform the electorate who will be making a choice next week as to whether that choice should be Sinn Féin or not on the basis right. of, of, our, of our manifesto? And let me repeat once again, our manifesto is on the, the, the work which we have done right. in local government since the last election. Uh, Secondly, would, you, would, you allow me, would you allow me a question? And allow me a question on your policies. And allow me to raise Thank questions you. about how far people should be convinced that Sinn Féin is what it says it is in the manifesto and on that video for, well, as, long, for as long as it refuses to renounce violence. Seamus, people that do not is, know what is in the that manifesto. That is a very fundamental question Excuse about me. Sinn Féin in any election. Right, but people do not know what is in the manifesto because you have sought not to inform them about what is in the manifesto. And I would like the opportunity to so inform them. Well, Sinn Féin is standing in uh, local government throughout this state. We seek to end unionist domination. By that I mean we seek to bring in equality. We seek to strengthen the nationalist agenda, both as part of the election contest and in whatever, whatever comes afterwards. We have a peace project. We, we have a vested interest in peace. We have a vested interest in bringing about an end to the violence in this state. Now, we are, as a party, since the last election, have, bar have, have buried 12 members of our party Scores of our people have been uh, injured and wounded. Our members have been attacked before their children. In fact, in a number of attacks, whole families whole, uh, of children, of partners, and of Sinn Féin activists have been attacked. So we have a vested interest uh, in, in, in this. Now, what we want to do is, is to see uh, a democratic resolution. And All we right. think that this, excuse me, we think that this election gives people the opportunity to All vote right. for that. John Hume said at the weekend that to make the right to live subsidiary to a political principle, namely the right to self-determination, is to undermine all human rights. But, I mean, Do you agree with that? I have said repeatedly, Sinn Féin, and it's this type of line of questioning with respect, Seamus, which demonizes Sinn Féin, which, which, which allows loyalist death squads and allows their, 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 their cheerleaders in the other union, in the unionist parties, this type of interview, which allows them, and the claim it's so created, to attack Sinn Féin people. It, but wasn't, demonizing, said, it wasn't demonizing Seamus, when Sinn Féin said that those Protestants excuse who me. voted for Joe Hendren were in the excuse UDA? Me. Of course. We didn't say that, Seamus, with respect. You we said, said, you we said, said Joe Hendren got in on UDA votes. Yes, and that is true. That's not uh, demonizing the Protestants no, who voted no, for him? No, we didn't say that every single Protestant who voted for Joe Hendren, the Unionists There's voted. no monopoly on demonization. Excuse me, Seamus, you have to let me speak. I know you might not like to let me speak. I know you would prefer you are that we weren't. You're perfectly free. To Thank speak you, Seamus. Well, then you'll have to be quiet. You also have to try answer questions. I, I, I have to try to get yes, you. Yes. Well, then you'll have to be quiet for a moment. You can't always answer questions unless you, and you can't always just ask questions. You have to allow me room to answer. And the point I'm making is this: that this line of questioning, by you and by others, far from being an investigation of Sinn Féin's election platform, creates a demonization, creates a climate in which our members suffer. Now, we have said repeatedly, and can we say any more? We have said that we want to see a resolution of this conflict, that the days of unionism are numbered, that the nationalist agenda needs to be strengthened, and that our party is prepared to do that. Jerry Adams, thank you very much. Thank you, Seamus.